The Russian invasion of Ukraine triggered one more crisis. While the unilateral decision to impose sanctions against Russia took only a few days, breaking the dependence on Russian oil and gas imports will be a long-term task tightly linked to the transition to zero growth of the economy. U.S. and European Union officials are negotiating measures the EU could take to limit Russian oil imports and reduce the revenue Moscow receives from sales, reported people who preferred anonymity as the talks were confidential. Alternatives being discussed include a ban, a cap, and a payment mechanism to keep revenues that Russia has received since the start of the war in Ukraine. As the war in Ukraine drags on, EU leaders are under increasing pressure to cut off a key revenue flow for the Kremlin from Russia's profitable energy sector, especially from oil and gas exports. As for oil, it is unclear how quickly and completely its imports from Russia will be terminated in the future. Since oil and gas profits are a key financial source for the Russian war machine, energy sanctions are considered an important step in the EU's response to the invasion. However, countries such as Germany and Hungary, which depend on energy imports from Russia, are trying to ease the sanctions. Germany has warned of a recession if the EU immediately stops Russian gas and oil supplies. The US Treasury Secretary also urged caution. In addition, there are concerns that a strict oil ban would boost oil prices and thereby increase Russian revenues. A ban on oil is probably going to distinguish between different types of Russian oil and whether it is delivered by sea or by pipeline. There is also an ongoing discussion in Brussels about the importance of possible transition periods to give EU countries time to prepare for a potential embargo on oil imports from Russia. The Russian economy has avoided collapse so far, despite the unprecedented sanctions caused by the conflict in Ukraine, which allowed Vladimir Putin to unite the nation against the West and support its invasion. Nevertheless, experts and even high-ranking Russian officials say that problems are just around the corner. The reserves holding up the economy so far are starting to dry up, and even the mayor of Moscow is warned of massive job losses. The head of the Central Bank of Russia said that the effects of current and future sanctions will soon be felt in the real economy.